hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today is another throwback video because as you guys know i am currently renovating my nail space so i'm just uploading old videos um so um this video i'm just doing a press on nail set i don't remember which one but um i just kind of wanted to shed light on a few things if you are making press on nails for sale it's important to always upgrade and make sure that you are putting money back into the business when i first got started i purchased all of my products off of amazon which there's absolutely nothing wrong with there are still polishes that i use from amazon um my nail wipes nail files and things like that so that's cool but other than that i feel like you know once you've made the decision to be serious about the business and you want to charge you know enough to where you're profit profiting properly ugh, that was a tongue twister <laughs> but you're making a profit you want to make sure that you are uh, investing in quality products so for me some of the upgrades that i made was a camera um, instead of my phone and not to say that there's anything wrong with your phone you can absolutely use your phone but i just feel like my videos look more crisp with my camera so that was one thing that i did um also i invested in a really good tripod so that um i can kind of angle my camera better i still don't have it down 100 percent, but it looks better than what this <laughs> video <laughs> looks like right now um, another thing was I invested in better quality nail tips. So I use soft gel tips now instead of the ABS plastic. And I'll probably do another video another time um, going over the difference between the two. Um, but there is definitely a big difference in the quality of the type of nail tip that you offer. Also for my prep, um, I was using just a Amazon based primer and dehydrator, but I threw that away and now I'm using um, Nail Swipe by Young Nails, which is a dehydrator and a cleanser, which is good for getting like all of the dust from fouling off of your nail. And then it's gonna, I guess you can say dry out the tip a little bit so that um, your polish will adhere and not chip or peel. Um, also, I used the Young Nails Protein Bond, which I got a little bit of slack for because people are like, oh, you're not using it on a human hand. Why are you putting it on plastic or gel? But it works for me. Um, you know, I just feel like it's a little bit of extra security for um, polish as it relates to uh, press on nails. Personally, I'm using like let's see four to five coats so you got your base coat you got your color which is two coats and your top coat and sometimes you have to go back over the nail and buff again so you have to put another top coat so the more security the better um let's see and then i kind of upgraded my packaging and i'm not going to go into too much detail with that because i haven't received my new packaging yet or whatever but it's going to allow me to offer a better um option as it relates to nails uh, i know a lot of people don't have the time to sit there and size their nails a lot of people don't know how to size their nails you have a lot of people that just want to grab and go and so i want to upgrade how i offer sizing as far as nails are concerned um and also another thing that i do that i've always done is provide a prep kit and not just glue i provide the whole thing so you get sanitizer glue buffer a file a nail clipper cuticle oil i want the whole entire experience to be bomb because a lot of people are into diy diy now and so i think it's rude to just send a pack of nails and they don't have anything to do their nails with and for me glue just doesn't cut it but that's the end of my ramble i hope you found the information valuable i tried to um, cut out of my little shell a little bit and talk a little more but if you guys have any questions um 
about the press on nail game, how to get started, what supplies you need, where to get supplies, things like that. Or if you have any suggestions for a video that you may want to see in the future, let me know below down in the comments and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.
Thank you.